But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? They hate it, and some even want you to boycott it. They were talking about Stellar Blade, which is going to hit PS5 on April 26th. It was recently on the State of Play. It was, you know, shown a long time ago, and recently they've shown some really good stuff. Let's take a look a little bit of it before I continue talking about it. Right now, look at that. It's a South Korean developer named Shift Up, and they're doing a really good job at that. Look at the, look at the movements. Now, of course, as I said, it is an upcoming action adventure game developed by Shift Up and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. The game is scheduled to be released for PlayStation 5 on April 26th, 2024. The initial release date was 2023, so it has been pushed back for various reasons. I'm not going to get into that. I think Tencent now owns some of Shift Up, so things were changed in and out of it. But the primary thing stands. It is a good game. It is... A game that has a female character that a lot of people, for whatever reason, you know how the Twitter people are online, they don't like it. Now, we're going to get a li little bit into this whole thing of why they don't like it. This is one of the big offenders here. I'm going to read it for you because my face is covering some of it. The graphics of Stellar Blade and gameplay look great. Albeit, I can't get past the over-sexualization of Stellar Blade. It would have been passable if their female characters didn't have faces of a dang child. Now you kind of outed yourself there a bit because I'm going to talk a bit about the actual person that is behind the face of the main character of Stutter Blade. She is in a South Korean model and she is an actual woman. She is someone who is looks almost exactly like they use mocap for it. They use, you know, facial scans of her face to make it so... You can't really say it's a child when it's an actual grown woman. You're kind of adding yourself a little bit as a weirdo that way. He's saying, really freaking weird. And if you find this arousing, you need to get all of your hard drives and phones checked by the FBI. Now, I would say that he, to say that, to immediately lead towards someone that is a supposedly an adult woman in this game, or at least a mature woman in this game, and to say immediately it has the face of a child kind of outs you as someone that is not quite right in my mind. This is just my idea. This is just my opinion. Take it as you will. Kareem Jovian continues, I find stuff like this funny. I can bet a good amount of cash that Avowed will have incredible casting characters in the story. He's talking about another game. Stellar Blade just has stellar ass, and that's about it. So he himself is saying that he's sexualizing the character when he's accusing other people of over-sexualizing a character. That doesn't bode well for him. Of course, Flavio, some dude on Twitter, as they always do, called him out. Said this is not the way to judge games, my brother. Could have said some the same thing about Nier Automata or others, but they're very good games. Yeah, you know, Nier Automata has ass and all that kind of stuff. You can say those things about those games, absolutely. Karim Jovian replied, true. Like I said, graphically and combat-wise, it looks great. But I can't get past their faces look like, looking like little girls. It's weird. Either way, we will see how they turn out when they are released. Like I said, you're kind of adding yourself as a dude who's uh kind of not right in the head. If you think they're, they're immediately going for children, you're trying to go like, oh, please protect the children. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Why don't you think of the children? Why are you thinking of this character as a child? What is wrong with you in particular that you're thinking of this character as a child? That is a little disturbing on my end. At least that's the way I see it. You could see it differently. Of course, let me know down below in the description, in the comments. And of course, like and subscribe if you enjoy this stuff. Alinea says, she's based off a model. You've never seen an Asian woman IRL and it shows. Did you know the character is based off a 3D scan of a Korean model? She's motion captured. The model actually looks like her. And the model, yes, does actually look like her. I will show you the model in a little bit. Anyone got the clip of the developer showing off her doing the character's mocap I, uh, you know this is the actual model she is a korean model and she i'm not going to say her name because you know don't want to dox anybody don't want to have anyone be leading to harassment of her or any kind of stuff you can look her up she is a korean model she is the one who is fully the character is fully based on she is an adult she is successful in her career and she decided hey the people in korea decided hey she looks cute she looks attractive we want to make an attractive female protagonist, let's use her as a model. Now, you can say what you want to say about the why they wanted that, but the fact is they got an actual female there who looks exactly like the model that they used in the game, like the actual game creation was, and they did the full-on mocap. They did the full-on 3D scan, including her actual figure and everything. You can look it up, her figure and everything, it looks exactly the same or near it. And this guy over here, who I can't read his name because it's in, it's in Japanese, it looks like. That's just projection. It's Biogen 2XV. Uh, that's just projection, dude. You're telling on yourself. 
Yes, the whole thing about little girls, uh, you're kind of telling on yourself. You kind of ratted yourself out there a little bit, my guy. That sounds like someone who's hiding something would say. Again, projection. Again, trying to deflect onto someone else. Yeah, buddy, projection. If it makes you feel better, I'm not the only one who thinks so, too. And you know dang well that there are going to, that is what they are going for. Stop playing yourself, even with the voices. However, there are some Asian games that have great jobs showing sexy bodies with mature faces. Now he's just trying to diminish the flack that he's been getting because i'm pretty sure that hasn't been the only dude who's been showing him flack and who's been actually doing these things and saying these things about him so nerd says you'll see little girls everywhere that's a you issue i'm not the only one who thinks so too sadly you are the only one who thinks that way either you're projecting or you're a racist p behavior outing himself yes he's outing himself of course and that of course is going back to you know the person who it is that's the actual mo capped body right there that's who she is she's a woman they hired to model for it as they can do, as it's great for the model themselves to be to be hired for this kind of stuff. Yeah, she's beautiful and it's sad that they had to enhance her to make it look nothing like her. I think it looks very much like her, honestly. Not only that, they de-aged her character too much to where it looks like a kid with a mature body. This woman clearly looks older and they should have stayed true to respect the look. Nah, character looks awesome. Literally zero things wrong with designing a character this way. Your inability to tell the difference between children and adults while body shaming is concerning. You need to get out more. I agree. They uh, need to get out more and realize the far west isn't the center of the universe. I fully agree with that. And the guy is saying body shaming. You're clearly throwing random words with no backing at this point. How about this? Let's see how this game sells. And if it sells more than Power World, then I was wrong. What the heck does that have any to do with anything? Power World is a whole different genre of game. It is like a big creation arc style game. This other one is an action RPG. They are totally different, different markets different styles, different everything. You can't compare the two. Enhanced the age, kid with a mature body, you're clearly throwing random words with no backing at this point. The complete denial of reality and insistence and in that the foreign women somehow look like children to you is something people will rightfully clown on. And yes, they will rightfully clown on. And here goes Kareem trying to uh, dunk on the dude. He says, another shocking example of how Stellar Blade's male character is scanned looking like his real life counterpart and the poor female was enhanced and looks nothing like the real person she was scanned after i feel bad for her this isn't right i think she looks very much like her yes maybe they added a little bit of glow up on her it happens a lot with female characters they glow them up a little bit they, they smooth the skin out the males they don't care a lot of times unless it's something that's really you know trying to sexualize the male but in my experience they don't really care too much about the male the male grizzly male actually gets more views a lot of times from women and other people and the porcelain style female i do agree that that is a look that they were going for the porcelain skin of the female is something that is also looked at as attractive in many of these games. And I really agree with, I mean, that's what I think. Game looks like trash and not going to lie. Ian Mouse Chong having to put his face in this thing. And he says, see, this is why I respect you. Call it how it is. Of course, only because he agreed with you, you're saying that. In response to him saying that, it, you know, the face looks like a little girl, you have Papa Uwe he says, I love how you're the only one thinking they look like the little girls, giving off kind of pee vibes here. Not the only one, responds Kareem. I'm realizing a lot of anime fans are attacking me for this LOL, to which is weird because this is about how they scanned someone and completely changed her. It's the same as scanning someone and making them ugly to fit the agenda. They made her too young and too weird. And you're weird. Now... I don't like name calling and stuff, stuff like that, but I can understand why people were seeing him that way because look, this is her. This is the model to the left and this is the one that they added to the right. The faces look similar enough. The body looks similar enough. Like I said, a lot of times they add the little porcelain features of it to kind of make the skin smooth, etc. That is an artistic style choice. Not one that you know a lot of people agree with, but I think it's an artistic style choice that the developers have the right to have. And Ultraman says, change her. They only gave her eye makeup, different haircut, and different eye color to change. What? They didn't change. Yeah, they didn't make her look less like her. You look left and right, left and right, left and right, like I am right now. You're going to see they look very similar. Now, Papa Uwe responds again. Kareem, please read into body shapes and types across countries. This is honestly ignorant and embarrassing. She does not look too young and definitely not like a child. That's a grown woman. Vanerism says over 60K followers, not a single like. Even your followers disagree with you. Yeah, that was a bad take to have, my dude, especially on Twitter. I know people like having bad takes like this. I have bad takes a lot of times. And I own up to them. But, ah, uh, dude, you should have just not. You should have stopped when you were ahead. You really should have. Other people say little zero likes. No one agrees with you on this. They meant people like you. People who hate beautiful and want lower standards. So ugly people feel somewhat better once the bar is so low. You can't step over it. People are having arguments on this whole thing, of course, as you can see. And Volpus says, why do you hate Asian women? Kareem says, as a response, this is pretty big allegation, loser. Again, 
attacking. You are attacking because you have no real defense, I don't feel, at least. I don't hate Asian women at all. LMAO, criticizing a computer-generated character for not looking like the real Asian women means you hate Asian women and favor CG over the real thing. So now he's protecting again. Uh, I've dated many beautiful Asian women in my past, something never never you something never you may never he wrote this really bad okay something you may never experience in your life jesus he wrote that bad wow that was bad maybe if you knew how to separate real women from cg fantasy you'd get a chance at real beautiful asian women but sadly it doesn't look like it so enjoy your pillow again he's he's probably one of those guys that thinks he's an alpha male you know whatever and then there's another thing i want to put right before i end this whole thing there's a little bit of a thing going on with someone trying to get them uh canceled trying to get uh you know stellar blade canceled or stella blade uh to not be you know viewed or owned by anybody they're trying to pretend that they're a victim and they're trying to get kind of like a hogwarts legacy type of thing going on where they're they want it removed and they want it to be uh, protested and not bought, etc. He says a thread boycott Stella Blade, the company that made game shift up and remove the work of two women because they were feminist. I'm a victim and former employee of this game company. Now, here's the thing, at least in the US and probably in South Korea and other places, uh, political ideations and political ideologies are not a protected class. So if someone says your politics, your ideologies do not mix with ours, they do not mix with our general uh, work ethic and our general work environment, then yes, you can be let go. Also, I have a feeling it wasn't just because they were quote unquote feminist. I have a feeling that these women gave a lot of issues. They gave a lot of problems. They were like, I want this changed. I want that changed. And they probably went to the directors or whatever. And were like, you know, giving issues. Companies don't just fire people out of nowhere because of political leanings. As long as you don't make your political leanings known to anybody and make your political leanings a big identity that you have and start causing you know throwing sand in the whole thing throwing sand in people's eyes and you know grinding people's gears and trying to put everything to a stop because things don't look like the, the way that you want them to look like unless you do that you're not going to be let go so i have a feeling that story goes way deeper than this i don't have any more information than this but that's another thing i wanted to let you know once again i am the mad salvi my socials are down below please let me know as well down below in the comment section if you enjoyed this, if you want anything that I could change, any new ideas, anything that you want to talk about, let me know down below, please. Also, there are going to be things on your screen right now showing a video that you might enjoy that I have done in the past. And like and subscribe if you enjoy all of this. I appreciate you. I will be seeing you all next time. Thank you so much for taking your time today with me. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.